I am Elmer, the ancient elm tree. I've stood right here behind the old house, above this old garden for a long, long time. I love this place. You could say my roots are here. My arms reach up to touch the sun. I spread my shade for everyone. Play my flute, I sing my song. My whole life long. You wouldn't believe it, but this old house used to be beautiful, full of life and laughter. Families made it their home. But families come, and then they're gone. They stay a while, then move on. But I will stand here tall and strong my whole life long. Yes, I've stood here a long time, and I've seen a lot of things. Thunder, lightning, wild hurricanes, cold winter nights, and warm summer. Squirrels will climb, chipmunks do, birds will build their nest on you. Oh well, what's an old tree to do? One spring, on the day that the last family left, a little girl stood below me, crying over the garden she tended so carefully. Her tears fell on her flowers, and as she walked away, something amazing happened. Her flowers began to walk and talk, laughing and playing in the sun. And now they've become my family. And the happiest, most beautiful of all is Rose Petal. Rose Petal Place is a magic world full of love and grace. Where a little girl just like you finds that dreams can come true. A friendly place, Rose Petal Place. That gently winds and bends Bring your smile and stay a while With Rose Petal and her friends Rose Petal Place is a magic world Full of love and grace Where a little girl just like you Finds that dreams can come true A special place Rose Petal Place She loves to sing more than anything Rose Petal's friends all know Her beauty comes from way inside And her songs make the garden grow She makes it grow and her friends were sitting in the warm sunshine. If you have love in your heart, the birds will all sing for you, the flowers will grow. There's no better place in the world you can start if you have love in your heart. Rose Petal sings so beautifully, Orky. She should give a concert for the whole garden. Wow, sun is sunflower. That's a wonderful idea. What do you think, Raphael? We could have it at Carnation Hall. That'd be great. Terrific. Rose Petal, would you give a concert for the whole garden? I'd be delighted. Thank you for asking. There's a dream I have dreamed from an early age to play for my friends on a great big stage. So tomorrow at noon, I invite you all to Rose Petal's concert in Carnation Hall. Carnation Hall. 
Along came Seymour J. Snail's work, a snail of distinction and the finest piano player in the garden. I say, what's all the commotion, ladies? Rose Petal's gonna put on a concert. Yes, at Carnation Hall. Oh, really? Rose Petal, that's marvelous. Seymour, you play so beautifully. Would you play for my concert tomorrow? As a snail and musician of taste and skill, to play for your concert would be a thrill. So tomorrow at noon on the stage I'll crawl and play my piano in Carnation Hall. Carnation Hall. It's the Hall of the Stars. Carnation Hall. And rose petals are someone come. Now, in the darkest, dreariest corner of the garden lived Nastina the spider and her assistant, Horace Fly. Nastina hated three things, beauty, love, and rose petal. She wanted to be the star of the garden, so whenever she heard the flowers singing, she got furious. Horace, huh? what's all that racket? Wait, has it that Rose Petal's putting on a concert, boss? A concert? Uh huh. That twit. A concert? Hmm. Horace, mm -hmm. do you find me attractive? Oh, yeah. Good. But then I'm a fly. I'm easy to attract. <laughs> Horace, how would you describe my spidery beauty? Nastina, words cannot express. Never mind. I'll do it myself. When I pass my looking glass, I can't believe my eyes. I know what you mean. Such beauty is rare to see. It ought to win a prize. And the world should realize that I am Nastina, the beauty queen. Witches, that is. Nastina, the beauty queen. Can you see it, Horace? The star quality? Sure, boss. And when I stalk the garden walk, the flowers gawk at me. <laughs> I don't blame them. Their eyes pop. Their jaws drop. They're mad with jealousy. Cause they wish that they could be like the gorgeous. Nastina, the beauty queen. Girls, heard about your little production. And my boss, Mastina the Spider, wants to sing in the show. Oh, what? No. what? A piece of the action, so to speak. Well, I don't know. Come on, add some excitement to the show. She's gangbusters. Listen, you can't beat the price. Well, okay. You know, I think it's a wonderful idea. Tell Nastina that she's welcome. <laughs> You're doing a good thing, kid. Rose Petal, you can't let her. She can't be trusted. Nastina will ruin everything. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You might think Nastina is horrible and mean. 
And I must admit she's not the sweetest creature I've ever seen But give her a chance cause somewhere deep inside her There's a friendly spider with something good to give And everyone you know has something good to show And every living thing has a little bit of joy to bring to every day In every way it's a beautiful life Okay, Rose Petal, see you tomorrow. I've got to give Mastina the good news. Don't worry, everyone. Mastina would never do anything to ruin the concert. Would she? Later that afternoon, Rose Petal came to see Seymour Snailsworth. Hi, Seymour. I came to rehearse our song. Rehearse? A snail of my reputation? Rehearse? I never make mistakes. Well, almost never. Well, maybe you're right, Miss Rose. Maybe we should rehearse. We need to practice our part in the show so that every note's going to sound just so. Tomorrow we'll feel better about the songs we play. If we take the time to rehearse today. Meanwhile, in a dark corner of the garden, Horace was hard at work. I don't believe this. A fly of my reputation pumping air for Nastina's organ. It wouldn't be so bad if she could play. I must be better than Rose Petal. Horace! Uh, more air! Pump harder! <laughs> More air, Horace. I'm already sore. It's fly paper, Horace, if you don't pump more. Eight arms and legs and she still can't play. I've got to take the time to rehearse today. Poor Nastina. She'll never see. It takes two together to make harmony. Singing's not a contest. Somebody wins. It starts in your heart when the music begins. And all around the garden, you can hear them play. Just listen as they take the time to rehearse today. More air, Horace. Horace. I'm already sore. It's fly paper, Horace, if you don't come far. Eight arms and legs, and she still can't play. If we take the time to rehearse too, we've got to take the time to rehearse today. It was becoming obvious to Nastina that no matter what she did, Rose Petal would be the star of the show. I must do something. And Nastina was not one to leave anything to chance. Horace, uh? do you think you can fix that stuffy old snail's piano? Certainly. I wouldn't hurt a fly, but anything else is fair game. <laughs> Late that night, Horace Fly, with a bag of tin cans and junk, made a visit to Seymour's piano. Ring the choral bells and call the garden. Dear, 
Cheer for the joyful sound, hear the news it tells. It's the wind bringing the news of the singing by ringing the choral bells. Come, Daisy and Daffodil, Lily Fair and Rose. Choral bells, feeling out all of us, feeling as perky as piccolos. Hall was filled, and Rose Petal never looked so beautiful. There was an air of anticipation as Nastina took the stage. Good day, my flowery friends and otherwise. Today, I will perform a nature poem to a tune of my own composition. Why are spiders snuggly while flowers are so ugly? It's an amazing mystery of life. And why does a fruit fly taste better than a french fry? It's an amazing mystery of life. Amazing, amazing, amazing mystery of life. Nastina, they're amazed, but they ain't amused. I must do better than Rose Petal. Horace, go to the good stuff. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Tin Can Productions presents Nastina the Spider. Hear the mighty organ roar! I'm what you've been waiting for! Nastina, Nastina, the king of ballerina. She's a dynamite, a spider. She's the audience exciter. Sit back in your seats and watch the flying feet while I... To the metal. Two feet to play the pedals. One hand to hold the mic. Two to play the drums with. Two to twiddle thumbs with. And one left over for anything you like. Amazing. Amazing. It's the performance of. Acorns. One hand to lead the band. One to play the tunes with. Two to play the spoons with. And two left over to give myself a hand. Do I show up amazing? Amazing. It's the performance of my life. How I wish that I could be. was amazing, but all things must come to an end, thankfully. The old organ was no match for Nastina's performance or Horace's desperate pumping, and it began to burst at the seams. 
bringing their act to a grinding halt. Nastina was so exhausted that Horace had to help her off. And after the stage was cleared, it was Rose Petal's turn. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're here today. You know my accompanist, the finest piano player in the garden, Seymour J. Snellsworth. I will start now. What? Seymour, can we try that again, please? Oh, no. Someone has tampered with my piano. It's all filled with junk. It's ruined. Oh, that's terrible. What can we do? You'll have to sing alone, Miss Rose. Rose Petal stood there a moment, and then she got an idea. She asked the crickets to sing their evening song. Some days everything goes all wrong and you want to burst into tears. Elmer, would you play your flute? You stand up ready to sing your song and your courage disappears. Songbirds would sound pretty too. You search for it far and wide, but your courage decides to hide. And then you remember one place you haven't tried. And one by one, all the creatures in the garden help Rose Petal sing her song. Look inside, if you just look inside, you'll find your courage twinkling where you look, like a penny in a book, to shiny bright. applauding Rose Petal, and also ourselves. For by working together, we'd saved the concert and made beautiful music as well. After hearing the audience's delight with Rose Petal's performance, Nastina stalked back to her corner of the garden, with Horace close behind. I thought you were great, boss. Ah, those insensitive twits. Well, sometimes artists are ahead of their time. They don't know good art when they see it. Well, give them time when something new is coming. Time? I want them to wilt. It didn't take Seymour long to get the junk out of his piano and uh, start another song.
so ended another day in our garden. I love this place. Come back and visit. A friendly place, Rose Petal Place. We'll always be here. Rose Petal Place. See you soon. Rose Petal Place.